All right, so not only is a five pound block of ice um, making it by yourself a lot cheaper than by uh, purchasing a five pound block of ice, it's also really, really difficult to find five pound blocks of ice. It's a lot easier to find ice cubes, whether it's in a store or a, a marina, wherever you are, it's just a lot easier. It's very difficult to find blocks of ice. Why are blocks of ice uh, more desirable? Well, because they melt a lot but slower. Um, why is that? Because it has a lot less surface area than the same amount of cubes would that make up the five pounds of, you know, if you had five pounds of cube, cubic ice versus a five pound block, block of ice will melt a lot slower. Now, are cubes a bad thing? No, they should be used and they should be used to pre-chill your cooler. Um, people don't realize that, you know, remember a cooler doesn't create uh, any kind of cold, it just retains it. And so before you put your items that you want to keep cold at there, you should be pre-chilling it if you can, using cubes because the cubes uh, melt quicker and will pull the uh, heat energy out of that cooler faster. Um, then you want to dump all that water and ice out, ice water out, and you want to put the block of ice in there. Blocks of ice tend to be easier to work with. Um, the one I'm going to show you how to make actually has handles. And um, you can pick it up very easily, no sliding around. Um, and then you can, they take up less um, space in your cooler versus a, a five pound block of uh, cubic ice. It's also easier to position your, uh, especially food items, stuff, fish, whatever, around this, um, this block of ice. So a block of ice is perfect for, as I mentioned, whether you're fishing, uh, whether you're camping, uh, whether you're just trying to keep your, you know, your, your daily picnic uh, cool. It has a ton of uses. Anytime you're going to use a cooler, you can use this. Uh, this rounded block of ice, as opposed to square, is ideal for um, the ice mule. For if any of you have it, I'm going to feature that in a uh, in my next video. That's a, a portable cooler that you know it's a backpack basically. It goes on your back. Um, can keep keep cool for quite a 24 hours. So um, that'll be in the next video. But anyway. This is ideal. You, you're going to save over a cubic ice. You're going to save several dollars uh, for five pounds. Usually these are a premium and not to mention they're just, as I said, just very, very difficult to find. So with that, let's just uh, show you how to do it. You're basically you're just going to take an old Poland spring bottle, the three liter bottle, fill it up and um, and uh, that's it. It's, it's a 48 hour process. And let me show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so first thing you want to remember is not to fill this up all the way. It's a little bit hard to tell, uh, but you basically want to fill it up right to about here. Um, that's for two reasons. Number one, when this freezes, when the water freezes, it's going to expand. So you're filling it up a little bit. Uh, there's actually a ridge line here that you can see, but you're going to do it just slightly above there. The other reason is because you want to leave room for yourself to cut into. Uh, we're going to cut this whole thing open from the top and then slice down the middle, make it very easy to slide out. Uh, on that note, it's best to use a utility knife. If you try to use a, one of your kitchen knives, you're going to dull it. Uh, just, I recommend one of these or a smaller one, anything, anything will do. Um, so we're going to make that cut now. I recommend, it takes about 48 hours, as I mentioned, to, uh, to, to freeze this entirely. It's, it takes longer than ice cubes for sure. Uh, but it's well worth it. And I also uh, suggest you wait about, uh, you know, just a few minutes, uh, four or five minutes maybe if you can, um, because when this starts to melt a little bit, uh, it's going to make it much easier to slide out as opposed to sticking to this plastic. So with that, we're just going to make this incision uh, all the way around. I'm going to cut it out and you'll see how perfect this comes out. And not only that, a little surprise you're going to have that little extra handle to hold it which is quite handy all right so that's our top off all right, with that and then we're just going to make a slice right down the middle it helps invert it Turn on its side, just go right down. And often this will just slide out. There you go. It's generally easier than that. <laughs> uh, perfect shape. That's the top. 
and as you can see I'm able to hold it perfectly which uh, helps when you're putting this into your cooler again great for fishing great for boating great for camping great for overnights um, literally anything um, and these will last a lot longer than those cubes so if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments down below I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you found this at all helpful please do give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more subscribe down below thank you for joining me